here we have the camera itself. Uh, I'll turn it on. All right. So uh, what we have here uh, is the screen which pops out and turns around and does cool stuff and you can um, have it like this, blah, 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 like that, so on and so on. It's really good to keep an eye on um, what you're doing when you're shooting. Um, the mic here, which is interchangeable, which you've probably seen. Uh, the inputs at the back here. Um, so I'm going to show you how I plug stuff in. Now um, I've got uh, plugged in, I've got my Rode S1 and I've got my um, very tight, very tidily um, put away lapel mic there which has its own power source, it's a little um, condenser mic so um, I'll run phantom power through um, the road uh, into this so let's have a look uh, what we've got you've got a menu here and you can um, uh, go into here phantom power so I've obviously turned it on because I was this is the second time around recording this. So yeah, you can use all these cool, uh, all these features work, the limiter and compressor pretty well. All right. All right, so this is straight ahead looking into the camera. This is what I use for video preaching. Uh, I've got my lapel down here looking straight into the camera. This is zoomed all the way in um, on the digital zoom and I'll show you the difference, right? So. This is in normal setting, and as you can see, it's a really extreme fisheye, um, which is kind of cool. They're designed to, um, you've probably seen the reviews on drums and things like that, uh, as instrument cams and things like that. You can even mount it with the action cam mounts and stuff like that, um, but I probably wouldn't be putting this kind of kit outside on anything extreme. So that's the room behind me. It's a pretty good field of view, but like this is quite close. Like I'm. Um, only 10 centimeters away from the camera at the moment. Um, right, so um, I'll zoom in a bit. There we go. So you can see the zoom progressing. Second zoom, third zoom, uh, and fourth zoom, and last of all, all the way in. And that's probably. That's what I have it on most of the time because um, I'm trying to shoot just me talking. That's my main camera. I don't have a DSLR. Um. All right, um, built-in mic test time. So this is the stereo mics that come with it. And um, I'm just going to play some ukulele. Let's see what this sounds like. Ukulele's fun, ukulele's fun, there is no sun in winter time. So um, it's a pretty clear sound. Um, I used this to record uh, a busking band not so long ago. Really good um, extreme stereo. Um, yeah, and it's got its own volume at the top and everything like that. Um, yeah. All right, now we're shooting through the Rode S1 uh, microphone, and that's mm, 30 centimeters away from me. Um, what you would use this for, this is simulating maybe an external mic. Obviously, it's a condenser mic. I'm using the phantom power built into the camera, and um, uh, I mean, you could use stereo mics. I've got a, a pair of well, little Rode pencil mics. I've got those. And you could record stereo through this then, so. Oh, playing ukulele, not playing guitar. I'm going for a drive in my Subaru car. And so on. Um, so you could use this for interviews. And what you can do is, let me just turn on. So now what we've got is four mi oh, three microphones going all at once. We've got the Rode here. We've got my lapel here, which is peaking. And then we've got the, uh, the mic up the top here, which is now peaking as well. Um, so yeah, that's how you do it. All right, so things that I do and I don't like about this camera. Um, firstly, the audio stuff. I'm just looking at the meter next to it. I love the fact that you can get really high quality audio through this. And I looked at a DSLR 
um, to do um, vlogging and record my sermons because this is kind of what I do. I sit in front of the camera and I talk and I preach. Um, but the problem was getting audio into the camera. Um, this enables, um, you know, two mic inputs and the um, built-in stereo mics as well. It's really flexible. Um, you can make it a standalone recorder to, to capture your audio for your DSLR. Um, so it's effectively like a zoom, um, uh, whatever the handheld zooms are that you record audio with, you can make it one of those. Um, I like the fact that it's small, it's compact. Um, yeah, it's got that screen, that touch screen there. That's pretty cool. Um, things I don't like, um, well, because I bought it as a sole camera to do this kind of front on recording, um, I found that the fisheye was a little distracting, especially um, when I'm doing sermons, if I have anything in the background, like the bookcase I had behind me before, um, everything you know bends because of the, the extreme fisheye. And this is kind of zoomed in quite a bit to um, remove some of that fisheye stuff there. But um, if I zoom it all the way in, it, it kind of comes you know, roughly here, nice and straight. Um, so yeah, I mean, you've got different camera equipment, so that's fine. Um, what else don't I like about this? Um, the battery life's not brilliant um, because I'm recording in 1080p. It, it's, um, I would say that it's probably 50 minutes of battery life um, with high quality audio. So, and if you use phantom power on anything, I assume it'll chew through quicker because it's using the battery to power your mics. Um, so yeah, um, oh, low lighting is also really rubbish uh, with this actual lens. And oh, the other thing, let me just find it. Um, where did I put it? Oh, wherever it is, the lens cover, whatever you call that thing, that camera thing that goes over here that stops um, light from coming in, that thing falls off all the time. So uh, not terribly impressed with that. Um, so apart from that, that's, um, my experience with the Q8, I'll be using it more for music in the future, and I use it as, like I said, my sermon camera primarily. Um, yeah.